Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we're taking a look at Monster Hunter Wrath from the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line, Monsters and Mutants. Uh, you can take a look on the back, you can see we've already seen the four Monster Turtles and I've already reviewed Monster Hunter Leo. While he's got kind of a Van Helsing thing going on, I feel like Monster Hunter Wrath has kind of a Watson from uh, Sherlock Holmes thing going on with the coat and the bowler hat. I kind of love it. And then he's got this kind of crossbow that shoots wooden stakes. Now you can see, obviously, some paint on the weapon on the back, but uh, the weapon itself is just molded in one color of plastic. But that's kind of to be expected for TMNT figures. I mean, they're only about $9 a piece. So uh, overall, I like the packaging. Very colorful, very fun. I love the four monster turtles here in the corner. Not really anything going on there. And this just says, evil villain Savanti Romero is back with a plan to unleash the world's most famous monsters upon New York City. The turtles gear up with new monster hunting weapons to save the city and themselves. So, pretty fun. I think this whole uh, monster motif has been pretty fun for these guys. I really enjoyed the tales. They kind of named that last fifth season Tales of the TMNT. And instead of doing an entire season-wide arc, they kind of did little stories you know, like five episode story arcs, which I think is a lot more fun. So let's go ahead, let's get Monster Hunter Wrath out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging. Um, looks pretty cool. The coat is obviously kind of a soft, rubbery plastic. The hands have the sleeves of the coat molded onto them. So if you somehow could get this coat off, he would still have the sleeves as part of his arms. There's no option to take that off that's just part of his arms you can kind of see in there um he's got a typical shoulder joint up and down as well as spin all the way around uh elbow joint is a little uh tight a little limited but can also spin around and then the wrist can spin same on this side so pretty cool uh opening this up you can see he's got some cloves of garlic here I'm not quite sure what this is. It's like a little utility belt kind of band on his leg there. It is just loose. It's not like secured in any way. So it's kind of just using friction to stay in place. Typical uh, knee and hip joints. Very similar to how the shoulders work. So pretty cool overall. I feel like Leo probably had a little bit more in the way of detailing and accoutrements and things like that. But I do kind of dig Raph's coat. And this hat cannot come off. That is glued on there. The head is still on a ball joint, so you can move the head around. But I thought you'd be able to take the hat off just because uh, I think Leo's could come off. Here is the crossbow shooting the wooden stakes. Pretty detailed. I think it looks really nice. I mean, like I said, on the back of the packaging, it's a little painted, but I don't really think you need it. I think overall it looks good. You can go ahead and pop this in Raph's hand, and then we'll see if we can get it to work so that he can actually hold it in both hands yeah uh, kinda maybe if I bend this forward a little bit yeah you can kinda get it to go it's a little difficult but looks pretty good so yeah overall I think this guy looks pretty fun um, I don't have uh, Monster Hunter Leo handy, but I have that 80s Leo, which is another one of these, like, you know, big soft rubber coat with the sleeves molded in the arms, and this hat can come off. So, again, this seems to be how they're pumping out figures right now. <laughs> There's three in the recent releases that are big plastic coats with molded sleeves, but they look all right. I think this guy's cooler than this guy. I don't know why this guy was 80s Leo, but that's an argument for another day. In any case, I think this guy looks pretty good. I love the bowler hat. I think the coat looks good, and I think the accessory actually looks really good as well. Um, I mean, there could be more paint apps, but I feel like you don't really need a ton of paint apps on the coat itself. Um, you know, on the cloves of garlic, the uh, legs, it's all the paint apps you'd expect, so nothing really missing there. I mean, you know, like I said, they could have done a little something with the gun since there's not a lot of paint elsewhere on the figure, but it doesn't really bother me. Overall, I think it looks pretty cool, and I'll be happy to add this to my collection with the rest of the monster guys. So, 
Overall, if you can find this guy, I say why not pick him up. The nice thing about uh, Team NT figures, they're less than 10 bucks a piece, so collecting them is not really a big drag on your wallet. So I recommend this guy. I think he's fun. If nothing else, the bowler hat is pretty classic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Monster Hunter Raft from Tales of the TMNT. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.